When you open Jmovi, you're going to see the single unified window that contains all of the operations and output that you need to do to analyze your data. On the left, you see the rows and the columns that look like a spreadsheet. This is your data window. Now, right now there's no data in it, but there are three default variable titles that come up on the top. We have a variable A and B and C. And remember, a column is the same thing as a variable and a row is the same thing as a case or observation. Off to the right is the output window where you'll see the results of your analyses. Across the top of this menu bar are six different sets of commands. The first one is exploration. Now at the moment, this one has just a single command in it, descriptives, but that's enormously useful. And when you click on that, what Jamovi does is it brings up the dialog for that command and you'll see that it looks a lot like SPSS. That's intentional. Jamovi is not built on SPSS, it's built on R, but it's designed to be comfortable and familiar for SPSS users. And you simply select the variables, put them in this list over here, and then we'll start filling in this template. You of course can also choose various plots like histograms and box plots and statistics. And you can close it by clicking right here. Now the other menu options include three most common versions of the t-test, several versions of the analysis of variance including both parametric and non-parametric versions. Under regression is correlation and regression including ordinal regression. Frequencies has the binomial test, the chi-squared test, and even log-linear regression. And then factor has the reliability analysis. So if you're looking for chrome box alpha, that'll be right here, as well as principal components analysis and both exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis. One of the neat things about Jamovi is because it's built on R, it's extensible. If you come over here to this modules and click on that and click Jamovi library, these are additional collections of code which give extra functionality to Jamovi. One of the most important is this one right here, RJ. This is the ability to run any R code inside Jamovi. That makes it infinitely extensible, as well as a number of other ones that are more restricted. For instance, the R data sets can be a good one. Next to the Analyses tab is the Data tab, which allows you to both bring data into Jamovi and to set it up. You can paste data, you can cut, you can copy. If I click Setup, that allows you to change the variable names and add descriptions, change the variable type. So is it a continuous or quantitative variable, ordinal, nominal, or categorical, or an ID variable. And then within several of these, you can specify whether it's integer, decimal, or text. Over here under Levels, you can add labels for the different values. If you use SPSS, you know how to use value labels. That's where you set that up. You can also compute new variables. I'll close this first. You can compute new variables. Say, for instance, you need to average several different variables. You would do that right here. Transforming variables is if, for instance, you want to have 1 to 5 coded as low, 6 through 7 coded as medium, and 8 and up coded as high. That's easiest to do right here, where you can think of it as several if this, then that, else do this. You can add and delete different kinds of variables. You can filter the cases according to multiple criteria, and you can add or delete rows to your data. Finally, I want to show you two additional things. At the far left here, the three lines, that gives us the basic commands of Jamovi to open a new file, to save and export. And then at the far right, these three dots are where we have our preferences or options. So for things like the number format, the plot theme has to do with things like what's on the axes and what the background looks like. Separate from that is the color palette, and you have a lot of different options here. How you handle missing data, the option to automatically update Jamovi, a built-in screen capture tool. So if you want to take a photo of your Jamovi screen, this is one way to do it. I'll close that. And then finally, a developer mode. But I want to draw special attention to this option right here, which is syntax mode. When you click on that, notice how the output has changed. This is an R command using the JMV package available in R, which duplicates the default functionality of Jamovi. And this is a way that you can copy and paste the output into another program. And so it's possible 
to use Jamovi to create R code, and it's possible to include R code into Jamovi. So there's a wonderful interchange between the two. Anyhow, this is the default layout of Jamovi, and I'm going to show you how each of these options, how each of these functions work in the separate videos. But now that you're oriented, we can get started on each of those.